Okay, here's a envelope from a cleaner out of Florida. I've done a lot of business with this guy. He's sending in his injectors, part of the injector swap program. He's got several trucks, not sure how many. He does a ton of restaurants on the East Coast and only cost him seven and a quarter. So he's learned the trick how to get them to me for cheap. This thing was loaded uh, almost four pounds of metal and it survived. This big tear is me showing the mail lady who was mad at me, tell this guy not to do this, he's lucky they made it. They did make it, no tears, nothing missing. I showed her how even with a car key, it's hard to rip this open, really hard. Uh, but So you guys, if you have the option, please use this, the EP14PE, EP14PE, polyethylene. Great little uh, envelope. Uh, or you can just say, hey, Joe, send me your envelope. I'll send you a Tyvek envelope, super tough. You can't tear these. And it'll go inside the EP14PE, okay? So together, it's almost, I mean, virtually guaranteed. You could put 20 pounds in here, no problem, okay? So anyway, he sent me his injectors. Here's what was all in the bag, three of mine, three, six, nine of his. I'm gonna probably do away with these. Like I say, he's been doing business with me quite a while. We've got several of these going on. Um, I've probably repaired 50 injectors for him. It's getting to be the majority of them are mine, but as you can see, he's still got a ton of Hydro Force injectors. I had no idea he still had this many left, but I've cleaned and repaired probably 30 for him already and here's another nine and three of mine so not that mine are holding up longer than his mine need repair too look at these it's totally shot and he goes back to the day when i was still providing a brass nozzle bushing i've since gone to all stainless and and the stainless body but the nozzle bushing used to be brass I've, I've even sent him a handful of stainless nozzle bushings to replace the ones he has bought from me but I guess he hasn't changed them all out because this one's also brass see how the chemicals eating on it this is uh, this is a real problem draw tube but it looks like he's been working on it because I don't use screw clamps I use Oedeker clamps so I don't know how this got on here but there we go. I'll be giving him a new draw tube. All of these will get new draw tubes, quick change adapters. See, here's one he's got that's kind of beat up, but it's still usable. It's got a stainless nozzle bushing. This is a Hydroforce injector he has sent me in the past, and I've reworked it, adding the quick change adapter, which makes it possible for him and his guys to change out in the field. That's these guys here. It's a really useful little adapter that you guys can start installing in the back of your existing injectors makes it possible for you to remove the handle assembly from an injector that's giving you trouble and swap it out with one that's got the draw tube that I've reworked for you or is brand new screw it in there using the, the quick change adapter okay because now you can just use a wrench if you don't have this on here you're going to end up using a pipe wrench on your tube which most of you guys don't have on the truck, so you can't fix it. You have to go to the supply house and you end up walking out of there with a brand new $180 plus sales tax uh, injection sprayer that you didn't even need. You might have needed a $10, $15 repair like these are gonna need. So again, what do we got? Three of mine, eight, nine of his. They're all gonna get a new draw tube. That's what these guys are. They're all going to get the quick change adapter, okay? They're all going to get stainless nozzle bushings if they don't already have them. They're all going to get new balls and springs because <clears throat> most of these don't even have a spring. Okay, so they'll get new springs and new stainless balls. And this is actually just part of the draw tube assembly, right? Um, you, so you guys can do this yourself, a lot of you. You can change the draw tube real easily. 
Just remember that this knurled uh, knob here where the draw tube screws into the bottom of the injector, make sure you put pliers on here. Don't, don't think you're going to get it tight enough with thumb and forefinger. It usually doesn't work. I know when I go to test them, if I haven't put pliers on them, a lot of times it won't draw at all. And that's all it is. You tighten this down, boom, it starts drawing. So remember that because when he gets these back, you notice none of these have caps except this one. This one's shot. But when he gets them back, they're not going to have caps either because he's got his own caps. He's just sending me the injectors, right? Most of you guys will be able to reuse your cap. So when you get them back, you're going to have to remove the draw tube, put your cap on there, and that's when you need to be sure to tighten the draw tube, tube uh, down completely. All right, so, and they'll have the nozzle, uh, excuse me, the... Uh, the quick change adapter screwed into the back. So the back end will be ready to go. Front end is ready for your, your gun and supply line. Draw tube will be on there. So you're all ready to go. He'll have nine plus three, 12 injectors that he can just walk around from truck to truck and drop one in the toolbox. These will be his backups until they're shot. And I do this test now pretty much on all of them where I, I tell you how much life is is left in the injector. Uh, most of them are going to pass the two or one tip here, which shows you it's got just a couple of years left in it. Once they get, once this hole on the output side gets too big, I can't test any of these because they've all got nozzle bushings in them. But um, once this hole on the output side of the injector gets too big. They don't draw anymore. We've talked about that in another video or two. So there you go. I'll clean them up and get back to you. Thanks, guys. Okay, here's the injectors from Florida. I've cleaned them up. Haven't done any work to them yet. Just wanted to show you that to clean them, all you got to do is soak them in some all fiber rinse or some acid. Glycolic is what I use for a few minutes. Rinse them off and now they're all ready to be worked on. I'm going to start by changing out nozzle bushings, making sure they're all stainless. Then they're going to get a draw tube, a quick change adapter, and that's about it. I'll bet most of them I can save. We'll see. Okay, still in the middle of the uh, Florida injector repairs. Over here I've gone through these and marked or removed the nozzle bushing if it was brass or an incorrect nozzle bushing and and then I marked the age or the life left of the injector see here's one of mine 10 years here's another one of mine there's only got two years left this will be interesting to see if he can send it to me and it won't draw here in a couple of years the rest of these are the hydroforce types different vintages of hydroforce and they've all got between zero and three years left over here these are the only two I couldn't remove the uh, nozzle bushing from by hand um, you know that little trick is where you just take a, a full-size paper clip and push it through from this end okay and you can usually pop it out if it doesn't work then I gotta drill it out that's what I just did to this one if you can see that taking like a number six or eight drill bit and drilling down into the nozzle bushing. You can see that's what I did here in case you guys are so inclined. The nozzle bushing will be in place in the injector. You're going to just drill right through it. You got to kind of feel for the three levels you'll go through as you cut into it. You don't want to cut into the uh, injector itself okay um, here's one I'm drilling right now I just finished drilling it out and we're gonna see if we can do the easy out and get it out of there not getting a very good grab And you got to get it. There it is. It came out. 
Okay, so both of these nozzle bushings are ruined, but that's okay. We're going with stainless anyway. We're going back in with stainless. So these two I'll clean up real good, and uh, we'll put the stainless nozzle bushings in all of them. But see, that's perfectly savable. That's a Hydroforce injection uh, injector block. I'm not sure of the life, but uh, we'll see. Check back in a minute. Okay, one step closer to getting these Florida injectors back to working condition. I've cleaned them. I've gotten out the old nozzle bushing. About to put in the new stainless nozzle bushing. Uh, this injector here, see with the, the ball, it's stuck. I don't know how to get these out. Every now and then I run into that. I can't do anything with this injector, so I'm not going to send it back to him. He can throw it away if he wants to. Lord knows he's got enough of these things. But we were able to save eight of the nine of his Hydroforce injectors plus all three of the ones he had sent, he's bought before over the years and sending them back for repair. So all three of these are good, eight of these are good. So there's only one that didn't repair and it, we probably could have repaired it if we could get the ball out. I tried to take this this uh, threaded adapter out and it just boogers up the threads whenever I do it so screw it. Now uh, several th other things to point out. So he's I'm keeping track of what's going what I'm giving him in parts because that's all he's paying for. He's gonna get um, 11 no nine nozzle bushings uh, 11 thick washers. He's going to get draw tubes on all of them, so that's 11. He's going to get quick change adapters on all of them, so that's 11. Okay, so that's that's all he's going to get as far as repair parts. Add all that up, it's going to come in around the average 15 bucks or so, an injector plus round trip shipping, which he paid seven and a quarter to get it here already. It's going to cost him another 750 to get it back. Now check this out. Here's my little welder's cleaning tips. One of the things the SWAP program is doing for guys, it's going to get your nozzle bushings, which is just like a garden hose nozzle. It's going to get us all using the same size nozzle. That nozzle determines two things. One, the draw coming up out of the jug, the chemical coming up out of the jug, and the net output flow, which is a big factor. I've had a number of you guys tell me, hey, yours don't flow as much as mine, or yours flows more than mine, you know, coming out the gun at the end of the tip. Okay, what we're going to accomplish with the swap program is achieve some consistency. We're going to be using the same size nozzle bushing from here on out. All of these are the same size, and they will be from here on out. If you notice, I got these five that came out of these lined up. I've already been through them, and what I did was used these welding tips to see if there was any difference in the size of the opening. That's the nozzle effect okay if that little tiny hole is small any smaller than it is and it, it won't let me use this cleaning tip if we go down the row here uh, this one barely goes through this one went through no problem this tip won't go through any of these down here we have to go to like two smaller so there's the one I was using we we'll go two down. I've already been through this exercise. So that's why I know. I think it's this one. Yeah, it goes through now. Let's see, does it go through this? Yep, barely. Does it go through this? Nope. This is the one I noticed when I was doing the initial video. That's, that's a tiny hole, baby. It's going to have tremendous draw, but it's going to have very little net flow. Guarantee you the guys using this injector is going to think it's it's not working. And it is working. It's drawing great. It's going to empty his jug in no time. But the, the net effect isn't 
going to be much juice coming out at all, is it? So I'm on two, two more tips down in size, and I'm just now able to go through. So one of the things we're going to accomplish is a metering tip that works. It's, it's going to be about this size, I guess. Yeah, no, it's a little smaller. Whenever I find the right one, it's going to work from then on out for all the injectors. In other words, if he had, well, look, no, oh, sorry. If he had, um, he did send me some of my injectors. If I can find one where it does go through, need to be a little smaller. Let's try this one. These don't change much in size being stainless, so it's going to, it's going to go through. It's going to go through. It's going to go through. It's actually the size really close to the small size um, paper clip. So you guys have these. You can check out your nozzle bushing. This is what we're trying to achieve. This one's way too big. It won't allow the nozzle to, uh, it won't go through the nozzle. Now, another thing I use these tips for, I've showed you, is to kind of put a real qualitative measure of the age of the injector in this case zero 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 two two three 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 two four ten that's a brand new one he got from me this one's only got four years only two years these are mine i'm anxious to see what happens at the end of a couple of years to see if that still draws but these probably won't draw at all look at the difference between um, hang on a sec. Look at the difference between these two injectors. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, this one's got a big hole here. I'm saying that one's got zero life left in it. And then here's a stainless one, one of mine that I say has got 10 years left. You can't even barely see the hole in there. See it? See that little tiny hole versus that? Big difference. Zero years of life, 10 years of life. Wanders. Get the lifetime stainless injector from Wanders and you'll get a long life injector. I'm still waiting for somebody to show me one that won't draw. I guarantee you when I go test these three here, we're going to have problems. They might draw, but they're probably going to be the next to go. He'll throw these out. He'll say, give me three more of your lifetime. Next year, we'll eliminate a couple of more and so forth until he's using nothing but the stainless injector. Okay, so I think I've explained everything I want to do on this repair other than, yeah, they're all going to get draw tube assemblies. Okay, all I got to do is screw these on. They're all ready to go. Got the yellow tip down here where it's supposed to be, they're all ready. Okay, thanks guys.